Also talking about feeling good, you won Davis Cup with the team. I know we uh, spoke after the final there and you had no voice left. I'm going to try to speak, but... Uh... <laughs> hey, All right, we've got Alexi Gallano back on the slice, this time in person. Yes. Back in Winnipeg, uh, finalist last year here. When you think of Winnipeg, what comes to mind for you? comes to great great hospitality, uh, great people over here, just the uh, overall great energy. Yeah. I love it here. Yeah, it is a great vibe here at the Winnipeg National Bank. Challenger presented by M Builds. Um, so you just came from Toronto at the beginning of the week, obviously. Tough match against Sarandolo, but you were super close. How did that match feel? And yeah, how did the level feel on your, on your end of things? Yeah, it was a great week. Um, you know, great experience to play on center court in Toronto against a top 20 player. Obviously, I wish I got the, the, the win, but you know, I, I thought I had learned a lot and the level is there, so it's encouraging for the, for the future. And when in that match, like, yeah, like you said, he's a top 20 player, he's a serious, you know, serious player. It's, what did you feel like in your game hurt him and was allowed you to have you know, chances at winning that yeah. match? Yeah, I thought I did a great adjustment uh, middle of the second set. I had to change something up, being down a set in a break. So I started taking maybe a little bit more risk. Uh, I was being a little bit more aggressive, taking the ball early, mm -hmm. and that paid off. Um, I was able to do that for many games, and then I was up 3-0. Uh, got a little bit excited, saw the win, you know, mm -hmm. being not too far away. And that's what I learned is to manage a little bit those thoughts, those moments a little bit better and for it's going to help me for the future. Yeah, no, I know how that feeling is when you can see the finish line there. But do you, do you think about your, your backhand? You had a few incredible backhands in that match, I remember. There's one where you stuck the leg out and slapped it, I think, down the line. There's many. <laughs> do you think of your backhand as one of those things that is a weapon in your pocket against the best players in the world? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, I'm a good overall player. Yeah. I think I work on all my shots. I think that's the beauty of tennis is you can improve every shot and that'll make you a better tennis player overall. Yeah. Um, but no, I, you know, I go with the instinct with my back end especially and sometimes it comes out down the line winners or yeah. cross court winners and it feels great. <laughs> it feels great. Speaking of feeling great, you won in Granby at home. You know, you just talked about the the learning that is continual with with this journey that you're on in, in pro tennis. Like last year, you made the final here, weren't able to do it. How were you able to get over the line mm -hmm. at home? You know, added pressure of you know, I think you were the higher ranked player in the final. You're at home, maybe you expected yourself to win yeah. in that match. How do you manage those pressures and and come out on top? Yeah, well, like you said, you know, past experience being in the final last year here in Winnipeg taught me a lot. I uh, took out a lot of good lessons from that match, including, you know, not getting too excited before a final match. Uh, I was super excited to play in front of the Winnipeg crowd, first final ever. So, you know, a lot of emotions were running through and I thought I did a much better job this time around in Granby. Uh, really focused on my preparation, mm -hmm. making sure that I was ready to my fullest and not expecting to play my best level because it's a final and again a lot of emotions will mm -hmm. go through you so just managing the moments and yeah just I thought it I did a good job and I was proud of that yeah interesting also talking about feeling good you won Davis Cup with the team I know we uh, spoke after the final there and you had no voice left I'm gonna try to speak but uh... <laughs> <laughs> so I know what what did that you know just being a part of that mm -hmm. team I know you didn't play but like yeah. being a part of that team that's such a you know the whole country of mm -hmm. Canada was 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 proud of you guys yeah it was awesome uh, amazing timing for me to be a part of this team you know on my first year playing mm -hmm. Davis Cup I think of so many guys that have played you know and represented Canada over the years and uh, can't help but think about them you know uh, what they've done for the country and I think for me that was more what was uh, really nice about this experience was sharing this moment with everyone that's been around and supported Canadian tennis for so long. It's it was a really cool uh, cool moment and seeing all the effort finally uh, being rewarded was was awesome. Yeah, no doubt. And you know maybe just to, to to end like for the people there that are watching pro tennis players like yourself, you know we're here at a challenger. This is. Um, 
you know, a lot of people see the glory, you know, the good mm -hmm. times. Can you talk to a little bit about the challenges of, of you know, getting, progressing up the rankings mm -hmm. uh, as you're doing so well and just some of the, like, the, yeah, some of the difficulties of being a professional tennis player because I'm sure it's not always, you know, the easiest thing ever. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, um, I have a hard time, you know, uh, telling you what's tougher about this tour because I focus on all the good things mm -hmm. that, that comes with playing professionally. But, uh, you know, for, for a lot of players, it can get lonely. Um, we're on the road about 40 weeks of the year, so uh, it can be challenging and tiring for, for players, mm. including myself. I'll, I'll have some tougher weeks, obviously. Um, but again, that's where having a great support system behind you is so, uh, so uh, important. And if... You know, it's it's hard to complain because we've dreamed about playing professionally mm -hmm. and we're doing this. So, I mean, uh, I'm grateful for this opportunity. And again, playing in Canada makes it even better for all the Canadians, I'm sure, including myself. Yeah, no doubt. That sounds like the perspective you have is key to being such a happy guy on tour and such a nice guy like we we all talk about it here you know you are like not normal for being how welcoming you are the tournaments love you but you can you're so accommodating to everybody else so to. that's awesome maybe you're gunning for that uh, the roger federer sportsmanship award that uh, <laughs> they gave to him his entire <laughs> career maybe it's coming to alexi galano but yeah um you know what are you looking forward to uh in in the next kind of the rest of this year mm. what what i guess last question what areas of your game do you yeah. feel like you have the most room to improve uh, I think I have room to improve in every aspect of my game, but you got to go with priorities mm. and I've been focusing a lot on my serve. Uh, it's one of the area where you can control that shot, sort of. Mm -hmm. It's the one that starts your points, so you have a better control over it yeah. and I want to, you know, keep improving 1% every day on that, on that aspect. Uh, I want to keep yeah, getting more aggressive. I think we're seeing it with a lot of players on tour now, you yeah. know, coming in and finishing at the net or a little bit more winners and stuff like that. So those are the two areas and just overall getting better in every aspect, including mental and physically as yeah. well. Yeah, awesome, Alexi. Well, we're cheering you on and uh, good luck this week here in Winnipeg and uh, for the rest of the year. Thank you very much.